this has been about a three-year process to get to, to today. Um, it started as an idea, and then research was done, and then planning was done, and then an agreement was written, and we had to get the space ready at the prison once it was decided. So it was about a three-year process to get here. Well, we're always looking for new programs for our men and women offenders to get involved in. And, uh, one of the gentlemen that was involved in that division ran across the Braille programs that other states were doing and started investigating it, looking into it, and eventually it led us to Dr. Seegers with uh, Tennessee School for the Blind. There's a tremendous shortage of certified braille transcribers in this country. Historically, it's been little old ladies that did it out of their home, as volunteers even, and a lot of those are getting older, not able to transcribe anymore, and there's not a lot of people replacing them. Programs such as this is what will be replacing the ones that have done it in the past. Giving people a certification, a national certification that they can carry when they leave one of our facilities and go back into the community and not return. That's effective re-entry, that's effective rehabilitation in our prisons uh, by providing programs and certifications. It's a win-win for everyone. When these offenders parole, they will leave here with a skill, a marketable skill. It gives them a way to make a living and stay out of prison. So it's a win-win for everybody concerned. The students win, the taxpayers win, the offenders win. You know, and really it speaks to the heart of what we do in corrections and and it also speaks to the power of collaborative efforts uh, with private sectors, with uh, Tennessee School for the Blind, with Tricor, and with the Tennessee Department of Corrections. Uh, at the end of the day, it makes Tennessee safer, and that's what we're really all about.